The Florida Department of Transportation, also known as the FDOT, is designing a diverging diamond interchange, or DDI, at Interstate 75 and University Parkway. FDOT considered several alternatives for the university interchange, but selected the DDI because it will improve overall traffic operations and enhance safety for motorists, cyclists, and pedestrians. Due to their cost effectiveness, efficiency, and proven safety benefits, the Federal Highway Administration is recommending that state transportation departments consider DDIs at interchanges nationwide. While DDI is becoming more and more common in the United States, the University Interchange DDI will be the first in the state of Florida. You may ask yourself, what is a diverging diamond interchange or DDI? A DDI is an innovative proven solution for improving safety and mobility at interchanges by shifting crossroad traffic to the left side of the roadway through the interchange. The DDI resembles a conventional diamond interchange, but no matter what direction you are driving along the crossroad, you will diverge or cross to the left side of the road through the interchange and then cross back over to the right side of the road on the opposite side of the interchange. An added safety benefit to the DDI is traffic entering and exiting the interstate does not need to cross opposing traffic when making a left turn. Though the crossovers look different than a conventional interchange, the DDI resembles the conventional diamond interchange that currently exists at University Parkway in many ways. The first similarity is that the DDI has two entrance ramps and two exit ramps, which are common to conventional diamond interchanges. Additionally, all the right turn movements are the same for a DDI as they are in a conventional diamond interchange. Whether you are turning right from the crossroad onto the interstate or you are turning right off the interstate onto the crossroad, you stay to the right side of the crossroad or ramp, just like you do today. Finally, the crossroad approaches to the interchange remain similar. If you want to make a right turn onto the interstate, you will keep on the right-hand side of the road as you approach the interchange. If you want to make a left onto the interstate, you will keep to the left-hand side of the road as you approach the interchange. Through lanes will allow you to continue straight on the crossroad to navigate through the interchange and continue along the crossroad. Pavement markings, traffic signals, and guide signs will assist you as you approach and travel through the interchange. So what is different about the DDI? The difference between a DDI and the conventional diamond interchange is a crossing intersections and how you will handle the left turn movements. These crossing intersections and left turn movements are critical to the efficiency of the interchange as well as its overall safety. The crossing intersections are where traffic diverges to the left side of the roadway through the interchange on each side of the interchange. These crossing intersections are what make a DDI so effective. As you can see, signalized crossing intersections are positioned on each side of the interchange and are designed to eliminate turning movements. As a result, left and right turning movements do not impact these signalized crossings. This allows for more efficient signal timing, which reduces delay times and minimizes conflict points. The crossing also directs traffic to the left side of the crossroad, so left turns onto the interstate ramps and off of the interstate exit ramps are unimpeded by other traffic. This enables the interchange to more effectively handle high volumes of traffic and eliminates the more serious crashes typically associated with a conventional diamond interchange. Studies of existing DDIs show a significant reduction in crash rates and crash severity, upwards of a 50% reduction in crashes. They also show an overall reduction in interchange delay times from 10% to 40% and an increase in overall capacity from 10% to 30%. Now let's look at some of the DDI movements in more detail. If you are heading north on I-75 and you want to go west on University Parkway, all you need to do is follow the right side exit off the interstate. And then head left at the end of the ramp where the exit splits at University Parkway. This will enable you to then turn on to the westbound University Parkway lanes. For traffic that continues on, the lanes will curve back over to the traditional right-hand side and you will continue westbound on University Parkway. Now let's look at the interchange if you are heading westbound on University Parkway and want to go southbound on I-75.
you will cross over to the left-hand side of the road and continue under the overpass. Following the signs and pavement striping, you will get into one of the two left lanes and take the exit ramp that will allow you to merge onto southbound I-75. Next, we will look at how to navigate through the entire DDI. Going back to heading westbound on University Parkway, we see that the crossover signal controls the oncoming traffic, just like in a conventional intersection. You will continue westbound and pass traffic at the northbound exit ramp waiting to merge onto University Parkway. A bit further along, you will continue westbound while some traffic turns left onto the I-75 southbound entrance ramp. Once again, you will continue westbound and cross back over to the right-hand side of the road on University Parkway. Now that we have looked at the details of how you will navigate the interchange in your car, let's take a look at how you would bicycle or walk through the DDI. If you are on a bike heading eastbound, you will stay on the right-hand side of the rightmost through lane and cross over to the left side of the road along with motorists. While stopped at the crossover intersection, you may encounter a pedestrian who is using the crosswalks to access the sidewalk in the median of the interchange. You will continue to ride your bike through the interchange while the pedestrian walks through the median of the interchange. As you get to the other side of the interchange, you will cross back over to the right side of the roadway and continue eastbound on University Parkway. If you are the pedestrian, you can decide to exit the median on the north or south side of the interchange as you exit the interchange. Six of the eight pedestrian crosswalks are signal protected, making walking through the interchange very safe. Between 80 and 90% of people surveyed believe that DDIs are safer for bikes and pedestrians. By building a DDI at Interstate 75 and University Parkway, FDOT is providing an ideal opportunity for the citizens of Florida to experience the improved mobility, enhanced safety, and the reduction in costs and impacts that come with this innovative design.